Call of Duty League is brought to you by Game Fuel. Use code CDL2021 for a special discount on GameFuel.com. Tournament audio and team listen-ins are powered by Astro Gaming, the official headset and mix amp of the Call of Duty League. Hello, welcome back to Super Week. And Maven here joined by the handsome, the beautiful, the incredible Joe Merck DeLuca. How are you doing on this fine day? Uh, it's a great day. It's Friday, right? We're, we're deep in this Super Week now. And then looking at this matchup, you're looking at Toronto Ultra team that is trying to bounce back after two tough losses against Optic and FaZe. On the other side, Paris, they finally, they got things going, right? A big 3-0 over the Florida Mutineers in their last matchup. So it's a momentum game right now. Uh, yeah, no, absolutely correct. Uh, we got a battle ahead of us, or, or so I'm hoping. But let's meet our squads. We're going to start it off with the Ultra. Yeah. Joe, I feel like Super Week has been defined by outrageous individual performances. If somebody's going to pop off today, who's it going to be? Uh, I'm going with Kleenex. I, I think he kind of has to be that guy. To, uh, it's a bounce back game for him. We'll get into that a little, a little bit later. But, uh, I mean, you can kind of pick, pick your poison with this team. We know how all talented all four members can be. Yeah, no, absolutely. They all have the ability to go off. Who's going to step up when you need to? Trying to avoid, what, like a bottom two spot and starting in the loser side of it. But let's meet our team on the other side, Paris Legion. Wonderful start here for Paris Legion. Paris Legion just about pushed that player off the hard point. Just can they clutch up and go big? Classic just being aggressive in the plane. Fire's got to get on the bomb, and he will. He finds the kill. Unbelievable stuff. Aqua's from the back end, able to pick up three along the way. Paris Legions. What a round! Fire and the boys are on fire after that hot 3-0. It seems like things are starting to heat up. What uh, what was so impressive to you about their most recent 3-0? Oh, well, Aqua and Scraps are really the, the two that highlighted the way. I mean, Aqua in that main AR position back in the 4v4, it seems like he's very comfortable. Scraps as well. We know how, how good of a player he can be. He can be one of the best Call of Duty players in the world, plain and simple. Uh, and, and they brought it. They really did. Now, when you're going up, though, against a team like the Toronto Ultra, you do need all four. Uh, you need all four players. You know what you kind of get out of Classic. He's that aggression. Uh, he's just going to keep bringing it to you over and over again. Yeah. I'm looking uh, to see if I can get a little bit more out of fire today. Yeah, no, uh, I'm sure playing with Classic is a, a blast if you're a Scraps or an Aqua as he holds forward on the map, and then you shoot everyone he runs into and calls out. Now, it's, it's got to be a great time. But, yeah, this is a team that I think... A lot of us, myself included, underestimated when they came together. It looks like when they're clicking, they've got a chance to get hot. But if they don't come out hot, they come out slow. Do they have the pieces to really fight against a, I guess, all around kind of strong team in Ultra? Just the two losses you mentioned, like they've been tough losses to really, really good opponents. Uh, this is a chance for redemption. We'll see if they can get it here. Uh, we're going to start off with Cammy, who last time we commentated him, uh, I don't know what that guy ate for breakfast or uh, it, where, what planet he was born on, but it was something special. Yeah, he was, uh, well, that was raid control, which we will get to in map three, but uh, well, against Opti, I mean, he was just taking gunfight after gunfight. Yeah, he, he was playing at a, at a very high level, uh, and you see that consistently for him. He just needed a little bit of help. Uh, you know, they're not going up against a, a tough as opponent in respawns especially, uh, in the Paris Legion. So this this should be where we would expect Toronto Ultra to find a win. Yeah, and uh, you know, you and I have talked about this a lot. Like, it's impossible for everyone to pop off, usually. It's <laughs> usually going to be a couple of guys, but at times it felt like, yeah, it was kind of just Cammy that was frying everything, and everyone else was struggling. We'll see if they get a more well-balanced effort here, but a good opening break. They get four down. They get ring control. Uh, and they're continuing to try and surge forward. 
get backside kitchen control if they can. Three are going to drop. Last man up is Aqua for Legion. There's the clear. You still had two that I think spawn safe, but the pressure is here from Ultra. Three are going to spawn out for Legion. Here comes the big fight for second. Yeah, I mean, Toronto Ultra, whether you get the spawns or not, nice shots right there from Gamma. You're able to find that kill on the Classic. You, you see where Legion spawn out. You have the back spawns. This is a perfect start, and that's the thing. They've played Raid Hardpoint and Raid Control two times this Atlanta phase in Optics. You're going to learn a lot what worked, what didn't work, and... I mean, you should have a high level of play from that point forward. But speaking of doesn't work, it's Classic with three, who just runs right down the middle. He gets all the kills, and it was great gameplay. It was a, it was a nice rotation on Toronto Ultra. 50 points on the first hill, but he breaks that one. Uh, yeah. I mean, that, that, that can't happen when you, when you play it so well to get the early setup to be uh, broken that easily. But Classic has that playmaking ability, and you saw it there. We'll stick with him as he looks for more. Some shots in on his right, some shots in on his left. And Nikki D continues to go off. Four in a row now for him as the rotation and the sprint across the garage is on. Bance is going to be the point man. He's there first. That'll be the next gunfight here for Classic. Yeah, Classic. He's just trying to bait people with that glass break. He does have some help with Scraps. Scraps is able to get two, but Cammy's all the way back there. And Cammy kind of anchors it down. He does. He will have another 1v1. Well, it's going to turn into more because his teammates spawn at an old. And well, Aqua and Fire, they get two <laughs> kills. So Paris Legion, they put these two hills together. They could get the lead. They do have the lead now. But the pressure here methods by the air conditioner. And you see, you see the position of him and Kleenex, number four at Art. Because of the, those are the two main spawn points here. Aqua spawns all the way out back towards Laundry. That gives Tawana Ultra the man advantage. They're able to get into the hill. Yeah, when you first said one-on-one, -on -one, I was like, well, uh, yeah, it's supposed to be a four-on-one. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> They're all getting ready to fly. I mean, he died uh, almost before you finished your line. But, yeah, nice job getting back in. Uh, no one going to get a ton of time here, it seems, as uh, Hardpoint goes back and forth a bit. But Kleenex shot crisp there as fire gets put down. Our next Hardpoint will be over at Basketball Court. You'll see that lock kind of popping up on the map as it gets ready to... Get going here in five seconds. So far in early position, it will be ultra Kleenex, though. The finesse job, or the attempt of the finesse job inside a kitchen. He ultimately will go down. It's going to rely on two members to hold here. You've got methods set up. Well, it's just going to be methods now. He's got to deal with them flying in. Classic is the bait. He jumps over, fire gets the kill. And that's sort of an example of what I was talking about in a way. Like, Classic's going to be a guy. He's going in first. He's flying, just get his trade, and you'll be in a good spot. But Cammy, Kleenex, Bants all come through on the kill feed. Methods with the final one. One kill for each Ultra member, and they'll get hard point control for now. Yeah, both, neither of these teams can really get a hold going. Uh, you know, I was going to just touch on for Toronto Ultra. They, they get the early setup, but they die kind of at the wrong time. So a couple of their members spawn out. That allows Paris to get in. But then Bantz is, well, he, he, he finds three kills. Embrace the setup of Legion, and now Legion, they come right back. Uh, so just solid brace. The big question will be who, who can find that first big hole to maybe separate themselves in this game. Because as it stands right now, just pretty back and forth. Taking a look at that scoreboard. It's Cammy, it's clean. That's sort of leading the way for Toronto Ultra. On the other side, it's Classic, it's Traps, it's Aqua. It's really pretty even on both sides. Yeah, absolutely. But I do want to talk about the Ultra side in the sense of yeah, you mentioned they, they played against kind of their two toughest opponents. They come away with losses. This is a massive rebound match for them within their group. Let's hear the comps. Let's go to Astro listening with Toronto Ultra. Come to as well. I can ring yeah. with you, sir. Go fast, go fast. Do you want time? Do you want time? Uh, uh, I'm going to Warriors, Warriors, kill me, Warriors, kill me. Weak, nice. weak behind the bigger right. We are good squads. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to help him. I'm going to help him. What a step from Dick Rock. He's post kitchen, post kitchen. They're going to be a new van. Alright, I'm one shot, one shot. One shot, one shot. Pillars, pillars, pillars. Kill me. Nice, good shit. Get on the rock. Don't get first kick here. I'm staying on the rock. I'll play time. He's at. Got driveway. I'm watching driveway. 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 Driveway again. Driveway again. Driveway again. By the way, by the way, by the way, right now. Yeah, dad. One more mid. Kill me from pillars. Aqua. Mid away van. Light van. 
Hello, Dad. I'm nice. going for South Dad. Nice. I'm going to. I'm going mid. I'm going mid. I can drag where I can drag where I can. Hey, yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, we need. Yeah. 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 I'll fucking rotate, bro. Can we leave? Leave square one shot. Square one shot. They could go. Could go around. Rotate. 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 You want to double it, Toby? Give me a second, give me a second. Okay, I'm water. Okay. He's in new, in new. That really? nice, good chip. Give me one more back door, maybe. He was like, uh, I don't see him. Yeah, I might, I might be going basketball. Yeah, Watch out. Have. Well, Joe, we're getting into this point. This is one of your keys to victory for Ultra, I believe, last match, where it was like they've had a lot of close losses, especially in hard point, right? Like these tight games that go down to the wire, they can't quite close them out. It appears this might be another example of it. When this gets down to the stretch and it's tight, can they put that final dagger through? Yeah, I mean, that's sort of the question. And Raid kind of plays out this way because the way you rotate across a Raid, it, it is difficult to, to break the, the hill setups. And it just sort of creates this back and forth method where, you know what, they're going to earn some points, we're going to earn some points, but can we get a good break? Can we sort of chain two hills together? And neither team has really been able to do that, which is why we're about to have a, a tie score, another lead change come in. And yeah, I think that's... Ron Ultra just it. It just feels like they're always in the game, but at times not making those clutch plays. Well, this has been brilliant from Legion. They've been able to hold Kitchen from the front. They get some time. They can test some time. Two players already rotating. The longer you can stay alive there and just be annoying, the better. So they only allow like the final five points or so to go to Ultra and they get Ooh. set up. Now one player is going to spawn out now. Can Aqua get there in time to actually make a play? Is going to be, are they going to expect this at all? They may not, but he's got to go and it works out. He's able to catch Cammy from behind, turns into a three on three on the point. Now, if your methods, you have to worry about that mid cut coming through. The two players inside for Legion still just trying to stay up, but this has worked out and that kind of split spawn at old worked out. Yeah, it, it was a timing. Aqua was trying to hold his kill cam so he doesn't spawn at the old hill. Uh, I believe his teammate, uh, it was Scraps, just sort of spawned up a little bit earlier before Toronto Ultra got there. So he spawned that driveway. So yeah, it created a, a bit of this split spawn. It does work out. And they're finally able to get that first hold, that first push. And that was Classic, who had two kills. Finishes that on a force free. He's getting the rest of the time. And, and there you go. You finally get a good hold. It reflects itself in the leaderboard. They're about to have, what, a 50, 60 point lead as we go to basketball court. And you still have Aqua here. He can't find the second one. But this will open things up because you see the spawns. There's another one. Amy doesn't hold his kill cam. He spawns out at old. He's got a hike across the map. And he's going to end up dropping. But this is just huge for Ultra. They've got a hold here. Only 21 points needed for Legion. They can close out this first map. Classic is on five in a row. There's a four on two near the point. Kleenex gonna have to go big. He's got his partner in crime and Vance. They've got the crossfire on point. Can they get all the kills? They do. They make the plays to hold on. Now about to eclipse the 200 point mark. And when they had to stand tall in the point, so far, so good. Yeah, and oh man, this is just where it's come down to. I, it'll be three games in a row for them. <laughs> As Bance heats on up on a four spree, he's going to get the rest of this scrap time. You do have Clean Ice who's ahead. We would love for him maybe to get a kill or two. He's going to see the whole team here. Now just try to play his life, but Fire was already pushed on through. Oh, sorry, Classic was already through towards Arc. This won't allow Paris. Okay, so they will get a, a bit of an early setup, but it's pretty messy. They're not in positions that they would like to be. The Toronto, they can go, but they have to go fast. And Well, it's 14 seconds in... This could be a Paris map one win. Let's see if Classic, the squad, can hold inside. Pick by pick. Toronto dropping. Not Five more points needed. Somebody's got to get there. Vance has got to go. Has to lunge in. He's able to contest the time. They line up in front. Almost able to snap, but not quite able to pick them all up. I think he would have had to get three inside of the point. Legion off their last 3-0. They keep the hot streak alive. They take the map one, and it's another... Narrow hard point loss for Ultra, the painful kind. Yeah, lose by, by 25, but I, I mean, there's moments there where, yeah, heck, even look at that, you know, the first two hills. So you have 50 seconds off that, that first one, right? They, have, they break through for Kitchen, immediately broken by Classic. They allow that individual play to, to break them. There's so many tiny moments throughout this game where they're just not holding that first push. Paris Legion, they get a ton of scrap time, and I mean, those, those are really the, the difference makers in this map. Yeah, certainly. It, it, well, it's funny because the way you kind of broke down Raid uh, isn't really how it played at all over the first 
first rotation just because no one yeah, could we really saw, Yeah, right? we saw one like, time yeah. nobody <laughs> holding that first push. And you actually yeah. heard it in the comms with, with, with uh, Toronto Ultra. They were like, make sure we're the first one to get a kill. Because as soon as you go down first, it's a four on three. And these teams are just too good at trading uh, effectively. As we take a look at our stats here. Index has a big game with 31, Cami with 24. On the other side though, who is it? It's the duo, Scraps and Aqua both with 28. Well, Paris Legion, they keep it rolling. And yeah, if, I mean, if you've got Classic going around even, dude, I mean, just you, you saw a really good example of him just like being the bait there with fire, right? Just like soaring in, he's more than likely gonna die, gotta get the trades and break through. Uh, you feel great. He's going to have those moments where he gets three and he gets in. He's got the moments where he drops and his teammates trade. Uh, it's a fun person to play with, but that's going to be the map one. A Legion, take it. We'll move on to the search and destroy after this quick break. Quick break, I've assured you that we get right back into the action. A shot of both of our squads as we get ready for the search and destroy. And well, with the way that Ultra has been starting in hard points, they've had to rely on their search to stay in series. So a big map two coming, but let's talk about our game fuel keys to victory. We're gonna start off with Ultra. Go, take it away. Yeah, Kleenex just didn't have a great game for Chicago. I mean, he just dropped 31 there. So you can't really ask more, more for him in, in respawns. Uh, great game from him. Learn from the small things. You play two of the best teams in the world. There's stuff you can learn from. Uh, it feels like they didn't, see, you know, they didn't put that into play. And then lastly, look out for Bant. He can be the difference maker, especially in Hardpoint. In their wins in Hardpoint, he's at a 1.1. In their losses, a 0.7. Uh, some might call that next factor there, baby. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, the keys to victory, a game fuel for the Legion. Joe, what do you think? Yeah, Scraps and Aqua, they kept things going. They're playing at a very high level. I sort of touched uh, on it. I want to see a little bit more from Fire. I mean, they're winning, uh, but still stats-wise, if he's going to be in that flex position, just want to see a little bit more from him. Uh, and then winning a Search and Destroy turns the tide. The Ultra have not won a control. If they go up 2-0 here on this Moscow Search and Destroy, the series might be done. Yeah, no, absolutely. And uh, yeah, but the thing like fire, you know, we'll talk about it with different players from time to time. It's like, you know, if, you, if your stats aren't great or like not, you're not popping off, but you're winning, like who cares? Uh, it's right. just, it, it, as long as Scraps and Aqua are going off, you don't really have to worry about it. But the thing is like, if one of those guys is lagging behind and you pick up the slack and you fill in that slang role when you need to, if somebody's having an off day, cause it's just like, I don't know, you could compare it to, real sports and other esport like it's tough to be at 100 percent at all times whether you're feeling under the weather just a little bit out of it hell you and i experience that just streaming daily like some days you feel on point some days you don't like it's gonna happen and when that does somebody else has to step it up and it might be fire well, it, this particular no, matchup he gets a, a little bit more consistent in response um that, that could be the difference of them having to grind out those hard points like we just watched True. and then True. maybe be, being a very good hard point slash response team and to be fair, I mean, uh, he's welcome to the league, bud. I mean, <laughs> yeah, no, he, he hasn't been here a long time, so I'm sure he's learning, uh, learning and improving at a very fast rate. And now, yes, this very important search. Uh, I think I said the exact same line for Ultra in their last two series, but it becomes like a must-win map. You've relied on this game too. That's what you've been able to win to make sure you're at least extending series and giving yourself a chance. And they'll start off on offense, four-man stack here at A. 
The counter, though, here from Legion. They've got a chance to bring this back, but it's three kills through quickly for Ultra. It's a fast one. The last player mid-map will be caught with Legion and Ultra. Well, they uh, erase that frustrating loss in map one very quickly with a crisp and cl clean round. And while Clean Ice is able to find this final kill, nice shots with that 74U. On just taking a look at SD Moscow, neither of these teams have played it in a match, both 0 and 0. But you know, maybe uh, on the Paris side, you watch some things, a map that you wanted to avoid, you, you, you got to veto through. But maybe that, that's a map that you like to play as well. So well, we'll, we'll see how it affects both of these and how they adjust. I'll fire the only one that gets a kill for Legion. Can they do better here? We know Classic likes to hold the door till he fights, but Cammy, peekaboo, and he comes, and he goes. God, I wanted one more burst for the ace. Doesn't finish it, but tags him up, and Ultra again. We're talking 15-second rounds. They roll through him. Cammy, surprise, surprise, peeks up like a groundhog and puts him all in the dirt. This jetpack god we're watching right now. No, I'm just <laughs> man. These are these are some fast yeah, yeah. rounds. It's like, uh, it's like what it reminds me of uh, what was it like uh, LG and IW? Like they just, yeah, they, just they fly, stuck right? It. They, they were so bad at search, but then eventually they're like, screw it, we're just for it and stuff, and like it worked. Just go, man. Uh, and yeah, this is well. Well, we talked about that verse optic with ultra played. I'm like uh, optic tried to kind of play a little bit more passive defensively, kind of bait in that aggression. Uh, but you can see when the aggression is working for Ultra, it is working and working quickly. First blood well, again. And I feel like it's a this map thing. Like, kind of like if you get bullied at A, uh, you just kind of run with it. That's what we've been seeing. These rounds are going so fast. You try to get some adjustments out of Paris, and, well, they just get countered. Fire the last one alive. He's not going to find a kill. Okay, this is a good bounce back so far after map one. Yeah, we're on world record pace right now for a yeah, search and destroy. Because, uh, <laughs> like, we've had 6 O's, but obviously you can have a 6 O where, you know, rounds drag out. You have much 1v1s in different situations. Uh, this has been uh, an annihilation. Uh, I, I don't know what to compare it to. It's it's almost like, a, I don't know, when you were watching maybe the hard point for Optic vs. Ultra and Map 1 the other day on Checkmate. Like, this is the search and destroy version of it right now. You have three total kills legion you're averaging one kill around um for the mathematicians at home uh that stinks it does uh but at least on offense you can, you can dictate the pace a little bit more it's tougher to do that on defense with Toronto just sort of flying on you so finally we're going to get about 20 <laughs> seconds into the round until there's a first blood but the first blood goes the way of ultra Aqua yeah. has two players to deal with. There's, uh, what, you still have methods to clean next up top. Good point, Joe. There really was a positive to take away from there. Uh, if you're Legion, you, you survived longer before you were first blooded. I like that. Well, yeah. You know, you, you got to do something a little different. There we go. There's a trade. That's what I mean. I, I, I on offense, you can slow it down a little bit. Well, we'll see if they uh, stick to their game plan, which is to get one kill around. Uh, they've got that on the board. But... Yeah, no, you know, it has slowed down quite a bit. Maybe this will play more to their favor. Uh, we're watching Aquas. He's trying to wrap back towards A. The transition's coming. Uh, Bant's sort of on an island towards B, so you have a three on two on the site. The issue here, you've got 20 seconds. you got to get the plant, but Scraps with some quality beams there. It's the shots. It's a two-on-one. Kleenex trying to play his life until Bants can get into position. He's got a one-on-one. -on -one. Catches him. can at the shot. The challenge is in. Able to win it. Fire going to be last alive down to one versus two. Not going to be able to do it. Bants on the rotation from the offsite, able to find the kills. 4 0 Ultra. And that gets a little scary when Methods loses that 1v1 because Kleenex is there. He's the only player left alive at the site, but he does a, a fantastic job finding the first kill. You're going to see it. So Scraps wins this. But to his right, Kleenex actually gets one, but he runs back. He buys time for Bants to get the rotation. Then they can play the 2v2 as a team. I think. Sometimes a lot of people can learn from that from Kleenex. Get that first kill. Try to get back so your teammate can get to you. So instead of that one versus two, Kleenex and Bands can play the two versus two. And well, Bands 4 0, Kleenex 5 and 1. And well, a Toronto Ultra up 4 to 0. Amy. Oh, eyes again. Almost another first blood, but Aqua. That's the first first blood, I believe, for Legion in this game. Now, can they turn it into a round victory? 
They're going to have a presence here at B. As Ultra works to get in, try to get this bomb plant down. Push the nade through for information. Trophy out as well. He knows he's now free to plant. Now he's got eyes kind of over that mid cut. And a teammate stacked with him inside. Now can they hold on? Just trying to spot for information as the four-man hit from Legion about to come through. Yeah, you gotta see if Methods can find a pick or two on the outer parts. You have Kleenex and Vance inside with the 74 Ooh. uses, which is what you want. Kleenex staying, staying alive, but what can Methods find? He's able to find one, he turns the tides, it's a two versus three. The push doesn't come in at the same time for Paris. Aqua though, a classic. Methods cannot lose that, but the time is in Kleenex's favor. Seven and a half to seconds to, to defuse it. And well, he's gonna play it. He knows the clock Got is it. ticking. Got it. And he's gonna Got clutch it. the one versus two. Got it. Great play there from Kleenex. Just the peak to get him off bomb. Stays alive. Another round victory. They hold on to the 3v4. And well, that B site, I mean, even if you're down a man, uh, with the teamwork's on point, the trade's on point, finesse game there. You get it done. I got a little bit worried there for a second when Kleenex, you know, didn't finish the kill. And he was, dude, he was one bullet when he backed up. But he got a bit of help. Methods wraps back, makes the play. It's now five in a row for Kleenex. Seven and one after the monster hardpoint map he had. A round away from a, yeah, I mean, I, the rounds have definitely lengthened quite a bit here. So we might not be on world record pace anymore, but it's still looking like it might be a 6-0. Yeah, and it, I mean, for pa Paris, I mean, it just felt like their comms were off. That retake just took too long. And when you wait that long, someone's going to get picked, and it happens. Now into round number six. Vance, not going to find that kill. So there's the first blood, but look at the immediate reaction. Cammy and Kleenex are just flying. Traps, though, he's ready for it. He's ready for it. He finds both kills, and they may get a round on the board. Oh, they better. They better. They may. I don't know any more methods. Don't, you don't have to do that. And a one versus four has turned it into a 1v2. Aqua might give it to me as well. Hold that. The nade isn't going to connect. The trophy, Not the able to hit it. it. Oh, I hit. didn't realize. I thought he put it right on him. The trophy <laughs> just saves his life. Yeah, it sure I thought does. it got in the window for a sec. 1v2. 25 seconds to work with. Trying to spot people on both sides. Wins the first, tries to snap to the second. 15 seconds to go. One versus he one. It. He spots him. Oh, he spots him. Methods 1v4. 6 0. And that just cannot happen. No, no we cannot. Oh, that, the last two rounds for Paris. I mean, this is bad. Uh, who was it? Who's number two? Scraps. There is no need to re challenge this. That trade, listen, I know you got a couple of kills, uh, but there it, is no it, need for that. Yeah, it, it sort of, I'd have to watch that back again, but it sort of looked like he was committed to the slide, like, as that gunfight started, like, not child after. I'd have to see that again, but that well, looked, that, you think? I, I thought it looked unfortunate that since they tried to double chow, it wasn't like he his teammate dropped, then he made a dumb one. I have to see it again, but you just don't need to double chow. Like your yeah, teammates okay, well, are okay, in the that's, bomb. that's another point. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's yeah, that's another point too. But I, I thought for a second he like chowed after the fact, but it looked like a, a bad timing and some beams there from methods. But the stats, yeah, a wee bit lopsided, one might say. As Tony and Bryce have joined us again, that I don't know what that was. Was that Australian? I think it was. I think you were going towards the outback a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I what no that's very, no very, very lob, lopsided. Uh, in methods with 1v4. Uh, I mean, yeah. Incredible place for him. I mean, he reads that perfectly. Uh, Joe, we're going to take a look at the U.S. Army tactical play. What do you think it might be? Yeah, I'm going to guess the 1v4. <laughs> All right, it so watch. Indeed. Oh, he's just chilling. Oh, he's after. No, yeah. 100% after. Yeah, you're right. Like, there's just no need. No, like, his teammates you're, you're are right, planning. Right. At first, I thought like this slide like came in unison with it, but no, that was definitely just a dumb chow. Yeah, I mean, you're just watching the cross at this point. Um, now, with 35 seconds, now you kind of want to challenge together in the one versus two. They kind of take uh, different angles. Um, if you just play this a little bit closer, a little bit tighter, I think what they're trying to hope for is for Classic to go all the way around. But the way Aqua's playing this... He kind of reads it. He's like, okay, well, then someone must be flanking me. And now it's just a guessing game. 
Uh, I mean, Aqua still has to check because there's 15 seconds on it. Doesn't want to take the fight. Tries to get out of the window. But, yeah, I mean, a so, couple of mistakes there. But to me, that's got to... Real quick, uh, if, for, for, like, the newcomers to search, maybe, or new viewers, can you kind of explain why we put the blame on the second player to die in a 1v4? Because, uh, uh, well, a 1v2 is much more manageable, but I, I just think that there's no need for that challenge. Like, you're just giving it up to that gunfight. Now, should his teammates clutch a 1v2? Sure, you could still argue that, but, but the, the challenge just isn't needed because it's a time thing at this point now, right? His teammates, the main objective, right, is to get to the bomb and, and put it down. Your teammates are there. You don't have to re-challenge that. I know you just want a couple of gunfights. You're feeling yourself a little bit if you're straps. Uh, but he goes for that challenge. And it then yeah, puts his I, teammate just in a tough spot. Part well, of it, well, spot. the first guy might be getting caught because you don't know where the last guy is. But once the well, first guy in, drops, in, guess what? You do know where he is now. <laughs> think about it this way, right? Methods is inside. You have a cross with, at the windows with Aqua and, and Scraps. How is he supposed to get to the bomb? It, you just can't. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, what a play from Methods, though. Absolute monster. Search and destroy continues to be hot for Ultra. They tie it up one to one, but they have yet to win a control. That'll be up next. Call of Duty League is presented by T-Mobile, now America's largest and fastest 5G network. Set your sights on the competition with T-Mobile, the leader in 5G. SCUF, the official controller of the Call of Duty League. The Call of Duty League is presented by USAA Insurance. We offer insurance that's made for the military community to help them easily protect what they've worked hard for. They say credit belongs to the man in the arena who spends himself in a worthy cause. The glory is reserved for the few who no matter what answer the call to enter the arena. It echoes out, reverberating across the globe. The only acts to reach the bold, never the timid. delivers victory to the deserving and rewards the devoted. For when your time comes, there is only one option. Enter the arena. Fight for the call. Well, we just enjoyed our first 1v4 of the season in Search and Destroy, but before we get into the control, we're gonna talk about the tissue. That's an issue. It is Kleenex. 
and he needs to come up big for the boys. They have not seen a lot of success in control. Uh, no, they have not. And, uh, I mean, this is just sort of what we're talking about with when they said times, he can just be so darn good. Uh, you know, it, it just feels like he, he needs a little bit of help. You know, look at control, 0.69. He's got a .93. I know that isn't anything crazy, but uh, we, we know Kunex is one of the staples of this team. He did it in map number one. He did it in map number two. I mean, really, he, he is trying uh, Paris Legion so far. Yeah, and uh, no, I mean, he's got the ability to do it. Maybe there's a little bit of a transition here for him in a, a way, like what, when he first came in our radar, for the most part, it was what, Black Ops 4, which with Stim and the movement, like, you were just twisted, man. The stuff you can do on the map and last year with the spawns and how it worked in 5v5 Modern Warfare, like, you were just a maniac on the map. Like, it's a little bit more traditional con, and uh, he's had some big maps. Like, not saying that's, that's the issue, but it, there might be a little bit of a... Uh, you know, at times you got to learn to slow it down, play a different pace. And I mean, that's the guy you picked. I think when they had the MVP match last year, you picked him to win because you just, you're, you're so impressed by his raw talent. Oh, in the, uh, the gunfight, the 1v1 gunfight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just, I don't know, dude. Like, fundamentally, he is, I think, one of my, my favorite players to watch. He just feels like he has a great understanding of where he needs to be on the map. But speaking of this map, similar to map number one, uh, raid, raid control. They are 0-2. They haven't found a, a control win. But you played Optic, you played Atlanta, both very close. There were a couple of really key things that, that lost them that map. What have they learned from it? What have they transitioned from? We'll, we'll wait and see. Yeah, and you got to think that's the thought here, because a lot of times if you're a team and you're 0-2 on a map in two modes, uh, this early in the season, you, you probably don't want to play that again. But yes, the losses came to the two top teams in your division. Wow, is Aqua just smokes can be there to get his second in a row. But yeah, I think you're thinking we yeah, we learned some stuff. We feel like we can beat Legion here. Um, but it was their same kind of defeat there in the first map, right? Uh arrow loss, couldn't clutch up at the end. What can they do in the control now? As classic is there for the trade. He is able to drop two, gets the first bit of progression onto that B point. The rest of the troops rallying forward, and Ultra trying to get across here to contest. Uh, you got to time this. You have Methods, who's able to, well, I was going to say, he's going to win the first one-on-one. -on -one. He does that. And once he does that, it's go time. It is go time. Look at all all four of the players flying on through. So they're going to hang on to B. The close art spawn is going to be right there for Paris towards the A zone. So they're basically just going to get set up now. And what's the call? It doesn't even look like they're going to go for this. So they're going to give up A. They're going to get set up. You have Methods up top apartment. Amy watching below him. Be Bance and Kleenex trying to hold on a kitchen in that money room. That money room can be so important to slide on through. Here we go. The good thing for Paris, you have a minute 45 to just get one tick. That was a nice play there from Scraps, too, just to get out of there, right? Like, he knew there were probably a couple weak ultra players, but the rest of his team drops. He just dips away mid-map, baits a player into a kill, destroying trophies left and right, and he plays his life, which, you know, not as much as maybe search or destroy, but your life holds a ton of value. In a game mode like two, control. If, if he gets a kill or two, right? They spawn up probably back laundry and maybe they can hold A at the same time. So it actually works out in a way where they can just basically transition to the A zone and capture it. Yeah, no, it ends up being a great play. But still uh, some work to do, but not much. You just need one sliver on the point. One kind of three or four down, you're probably in a good spot. Unfortunately, you just went three down, so you've got to start this off uh, from the beginning there at Garage and try to get out. But there's some key gunfight victories to get them forward. Another one is the team shot comes through and Kleenex will drop, but Method still in a power position at the Rock. I thought he had that gunfight that one, but yeah. Fire just, yeah, the headshot multiplier comes in and Method has a severe headache. Yeah, but he, he slows down majority of the push, and then with that, Teammates can retake apartment. Now can you can you get into a comfortable spot with the AR? You see methods, he spawns up, he's gotta play back court. You don't have much time though. I mean there's yeah, only your 20 or so right seconds. Here. You've gotta go. You've gotta get in. Bance has got some information towards the map. The Simtex will at least slow down the push for a second, but here they come. This is huge. Classic will be the point man. He's gonna be the first in. He's able to get the trade. Aqua through the kill as well. Bance on the edge, though. The free fire in. He'll be able to hit the shots. Five seconds remaining. Everybody coming off spawn and ultra able to get the hold. And it works out. I mean, that's just... I mean, we talk about time remaining. It looks really good in the sense that they only needed to get one bit of progress. But 
whether you need one tick, two ticks, three ticks on the point, you still have to get to the point and get that clearance. And when you only had, what was it, about a minute, minute 10 to work with, you just don't have that many cracks at it. And it took them what? Just to get out of that aggression towards apartment? I mean, it was about 30 or so seconds to get out of that, even though they won some key gunfights, still took a bit of time. Yeah, no, exactly. I mean, when you have that apartment set up from the def defensive team, you spawn out towards Ring and Art. I mean, it, it just takes 30 seconds to kind of decide where we want to push from to maybe clear out Kitchen and, and deal with that. Uh, but Methods was able to pick up that one kill back, back court. And just to start off that trade, to make sure that they are down in numbers, that was a big kill by Methods. They were able to find that first round. Cammy with 10. Talked about his raid control earlier this week. Seems to be a, a comfortable map for him. Well, Legion uh, coming off one of the biggest SD pummelings we've seen on the year. Trying to answer back after the first round loss. Let's go to an Astro Licitant with Paris Legion. Got it. I, got, I got one in here. I got one in here. Nice, nice. One was bottom run there. See him? Yo, I'm about to, I'm about to flank. I'm about to flank. Oh, he's I'll flank you guys. I'll flank him. That's all open. Bedroom's open. Bedroom's open. Kitchen's open. Kitchen's open. Kitchen's open. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, mate, we're good. Went in the back on me. One was out spawned, by the way. I think you hit laundry. I think you hit laundry. I'll pick your pillars for you. I have missed the pillars. I'm dead. Two in the back. Two in the back. Okay, okay. It was holding pillars, I mean. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. They have court. They have court. Yeah, I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. Pillars. Absolute pillars in. Reinforced by him. He went cut on one. One is cut. Cut up, cut up, Cammy. 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 We went around, I'm pretty sure. I'll pick up I'll pick up there. Watch out, we'll go. 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 You want to go to the steps? I got water steps. Give me no water steps. I need it. Yeah, water steps again. Water steps again. JJ, JJ. Call someone. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. He's holding. We got a hold here for a minute. It's Ultra. Starting to work forward. Classic just holding around the objective at Tiki. Did hear one hit in his left. He's going to get the audio cue, but Cammy says, I don't care what you hear. Hear these bullets. But Scraps then, maybe starting to get rolling. He started out like one and eight. It's starting to bounce back a bit, but they're able to hold on for now. I'm dwindling. And neither defensive team has really just given up that big play, right, so far. It yep. yep. uh, got a little bit scary there as soon as you went to the listening, but Fire found two kills. And that allows Classic to come off spawn and get the last player. They're just not leaving numbers up for the offense. And that's what, just why you, you haven't been able to get progress at B. You have 20 seconds left with Toronto Ultra. Vance has to wait for his teammates. Doesn't want to over chow here. He's in a great position. He does. Worried about so many things. Methods gets on the point. You have Cammy working inside a kitchen, but he gets cut down. And, and again, because you don't have the numbers, you get traded out. You're staggered now in your pushes, and it, it just gets a little crazy for this offensive team. They've gotten on, though. First bit of progress through. It's moving. Two players stacked on top of it. This is the last push for Legion. Classic. Big entry, Vance tucked in the corner. Are they gonna be able to catch her? Vance make the play? Three kills through for Ultra. No respawns remaining on either side. A two versus four now for Legion. Can they even get there in time? I thought he had the gunfight win, but Scraps can't quite finish it off. Now all gonna be on Scraps. Not gonna matter. There's the capture. Ultra will go I, I don't know. I don't know who the last player alive was for Toronto Ultra, but just to buy enough time at Tiki that it allows Bands to get there and help them, that was really the play. It might have been Kleenex or Cami, uh, but they stayed alive. You know, when Bands first gets taken down at Tiki, Paris fly out of money, they fly out of cutout. They're trying to trade back and forth. It looks like the trades are working, but one player stayed alive for Toronto. It allows them, you know, to have that second push. And then Paris with only a couple of lives left, they kind of hit the panic button in one of those rounds where we finally see Toronto clutch. Yeah, and we talk a lot about that big play, like that 3-4 down, because it's it's such a battle of attrition at times, like you saw there. Like, just throwing bodies at it and kind of getting an inch at a time to get forward to the point. 
you get a three down, you get that done very, very quickly. But they had the time to work with, they had the lives to work with, and they get it done as Kleenex's shot is clean. And Classic will end up dropping as now Kleenex gets into a spot that can be very frustrating to deal with. They know that. They're like, screw this. We're going to wrap over to A-side. Unfortunately for them, Methods is posted up inside of the point. They are able to take him down. Almost three straight kills through for Legion, but Vance wants none of it. Yeah, you're hoping Methods in rain can, in, can find a kill or two, and then that will allow Kleenex to sort of push up from apartment and really work that spawn kill. That doesn't happen. There's some progress here. Of a couple of life advantage if you're Toronto, and I think they're just going to get into their B setup once again, uh, which has been working. And yeah, it's just that as soon as you have three, four down on defense, everyone is still alive on offense. You stack the point, but you have to go if you're the defensive team, and it just makes it difficult to, especially on this map uh, with the positions that you have inside of B. Usually, it doesn't happen. Um, so that's that's what we're always looking for uh, for the offense. A little bit different of a scenario here, similar in the sense they got A first, but they have about 30 more seconds than they did last time to work with. Can they do it? Fire tries to jump out for the trade. Not going to pick up Bance inside of Tiki, but he's able to take down one. Bance just doing a great job. That's two in a row for him inside, just holding. Phoenix has got the top apartment, AK-74U. Remains hot for him. Five in a row. Now for Kleenex. Aqua, though, onto the objective. Kleenex, though, has to stay in this position because it's a key one to deal with the reinforcements. But everything crumbling, it appears, for Ultra. But just enough there. The gunfight win for Bance to get back in control of the point. And Kleenex goes right back to his spot there at Apartments. Everybody from Legion dropping. And desperation time. You can taste it. You're down six lives. You're down 2-0. You got smoked in the search. Feels like they need a miracle here to take this one. Yeah, I was on pants and Kleenex with that hold. It does get a little scary because Kleenex sort of you know, over a bit, but it was only Aqua that was left at that B zone. So his teammates can get there. Now they have free, free control of this entire B side. Yeah, it just feels like Paris, they just haven't been able to crack it. We've seen some teams just be able to do so uh, very quickly, but maybe with that they can. Oh, as soon as you get two from fire, it's Cammy with three. That just says, nah, I I'm good. I I'm good. I want to go up 2-1 in this series. Fire now has to fly. He's got to go. Maybe with the two kills middle of the map from Aqua off a of spawn, they have a chance to get on the point. See if they can get onto it. Not on Cammy's watch. Not on Cammy's watch. He ends it hot. The three-piece and then a lovely double to close it out. 6-0 in the search, 3-0 in the control. Things unraveling here for Legion, and I think there you saw why they want to play this again, despite the fact they're 0-2. They felt like they had it figured out. They were playing pretty well. They just lost to better teams is what it looks like right now. And, yeah, usually when you play a better team and you lose kind of some tight games, you go to round five in controls. There's a lot of takeaways, a lot of key things you can look back at. The improvements seem to be there. Solid win for Ultra. Yeah, I think especially on the defensive side, right? Just sort of how do we want to set up? I mean, they were just a stone wall. They, they really were. Paris Legion could not, could not break through. And it, every single time that there was finally a push from Paris, there just wasn't enough numbers. They weren't able to stay alive in that TG side. They couldn't get anything going at Via. Here's a look at the scoreboard as well. Amy with 25. Methods, he kept things going after that one versus four. Dropped 20 kills on that one. But just all around, uh, great teamwork, a great team effort from the Ultra. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, maybe Scraps was frustrated with the play in that final round. I mean, I, it, it doesn't really matter that much at that point. And you're down 0-5, but you hate to have a play like that happen. I mean, he started, what, like 1-7, ends the map 9-20. and 20. Uh, Not kind of prototypical of what we've seen of him so far in respawns, especially as of late. He's been lights out. Uh, just a rough map for him there. But... You know, if you're Legion, you were able to take the hard point, right? Like, you won you won the map one. Uh, you probably feel okay about your odds, your chances to take a map four and maybe get us to a fifth and final map. But they got to do it. They got to win both hard points. We'll see if they can get it done. Ultra, they're hot right now. 6-0 surge, 3-0 control on fire against fire. We'll be back with the hard point after this quick break.
The series is cruising through uh, very fast. Maps two and three, as we'll take a look at the maps and modes. You can see how it's broken down, but uh, what a battle it was in that map one. And I, I guess what I'm looking for, a couple of things here. I mean, well, can you win both hard points, obviously, if you're a fire in this Legion team to get to map five, but I still, this Ultra, I, 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 I don't have a tally in front of me of how many close maps they've lost when we're talking control and hard point, but it's a lot. It's a majority of them. Uh, if it's tight again, man, I just want to see if they can pull it out. Like, I, I, What do you think it is, Joe? Like, why? When it seems to become a pattern, and I know we don't have a ton of maps under these teams' belts, but when it seems to become a pattern, why do you think that's a thing? Like, that inability to close out games. Well, I think that's just a, a raid hardpoint thing. They, they're making obvious mistakes on that one. Uh, there, there's tons to go off of. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think at times maybe it creeps into mine, but I, in the middle of the map, it, it definitely doesn't. It, I think it's just the map. I think now you've lost three in a row. Like maybe after losing New Atlanta and Optic, you kind of, or you're like, all right, let's give it another shot. Maybe scrims are going really well. But now versus Paris, I, I guess my thinking from the outside is, is Maybe we try to play a little bit more of a aggressive maps because I feel like on a map like Raid, it's tough sometimes because you take out what could be your advantages, which is your aggression. Like when you talk about Cami and Kleenex Advance, uh, sometimes that stops on a map like Raid. I, I, I'm looking at Advance this map because he hasn't been great on Raid Hardpoint, but a map like Garrison where he's constantly able to use that 74U and get in a great position, this yeah. could be a much better map for him. Yeah, no, that's true. It's probably all methods. He's like, guys, uh, I've been playing raid for like a decade, and no, I'm I mean a, it's probably streams are going really well. And I really know? want, I really want to play raid. I can get posted up and dominate. It's me, methods, the most famous man in Canada. You're really off with the yeah. He does not say. He doesn't. He doesn't sound like Teep. Yeah, I don't know what that was. My accent again is <laughs> just horrible today, but. Let's see if they fare a little bit better here and if they can close out the series. Uh, Legion, yeah, you've got no momentum, no win, nothing positive at all over the last two games to even think about going into this. You just have to muster it from somewhere, and maybe it's from Classic. He gets two. What? Give him a third, maybe. His teammate's able to pick that up and fire. He will surge forward, fire, Aqua in the kill feed. Everybody drops for Ultra. I'd give you something positive. You're 2-0 on Garrison, Hardpoint. There you, you go. Beat Thank Florida, you. 220 to, uh, 222 go. to 220. In Florida, they decimated Atlanta Face, so we know they're a very good Garrison Hardpoint team. Yeah, so, I, need, I need you. I'm being be negative Nancy. I'm being negative Nancy. I need you to bring me up. I gotcha. You're undefeated on the map. That's all you need. Yeah, like that. Classic keeps it going. We'll hop out to the aerial view, just see where everybody's starting to come from. Fire has got a legion of players in front of him. We'll see if Legion can hold on. Does not hit the shots on the needs, threw him off or what it was, but he will get dropped. Vance wins a gunfight, scraps. I thought I had a kill with a nice little drop shot, but his head comes clean off. It's all on classic now. He's at least able to get two. 35 seconds remaining on the point. The reinforcements should get there first. Well, you know what prevents your team from getting there first? Uh, a team kill with a Simtex. Yeah, a lot of a lot of Simtex team kills coming in, just right to the back. They just stick right there, and then it's like you want you, you, you're the one who throw it. And you're like, ah, I gotta take a step back because you're about to blow up. So sorry about that one. Yeah, that's why I play Warzone. I don't have to worry about friendly fire. And Blackout last year really did it to me. I had a lot of a lot of a lot of team kills. <laughs> well, it's just a matter of, all right, were you and Chief arguing that day? Yeah, it's a good point. It's a good point. A lot of it was intentional. <laughs> uh, but Classic, 8-2, uh, and two, he's on three in a row again. Next hard point, going to pop as we'll get over to third. Classic will be the first in, able to spot the head of Cammy. And guess what? I'm coming for you, sweetheart. But Vance, able to look over him, gets the kill. Scrap still trying to play the lurk role in the back, but Cammy wants no part of it. It's a flurry of trade so far. Oh, Aqua my goodness. Lord almighty, what is Aqua doing to Ultra? Ah, check the task manager. What were those headshots? And beautiful <laughs> beams on Aqua. I, can anyone hold the hard point right now? I mean, but between these teams, it is just break after break. People are getting gunned off the power positions. Looks like Ultra, though, will uh, get the last bit of scrap time. Nobody's got an Aqua right now, I guess. No, no, it doesn't. Unless he's reloading, it doesn't look like the man's going to drop.
Lassie though is playing kind of that lurk role underneath. Oh, uh, he pops up. Peekaboo, Bants, hello, it's me, your friend Classic, and you are dead. He gets another 11 and 4 now for Classic. And they've got mid map just locked down. Scraps from the top rope. Well, Kleenex gonna give him an elbow of fury and put him down. Ultra now approaching a 30 point advantage. And he's got a lot of big kills there in mid. Yeah, another break for Toronto Ultra. That's two hills in a row. Parish, it looks so good to... on the map for a second yeah, for Legion. I... Uh... Yeah, you, you have the early rotations, you have the setup you want, trophies are down. But they just got gunned. I mean, it's five kills in a row, make it six for Ultra. And you know, Classic, you know, he, he wants to win this one. We have a big revenge game coming up uh, for Clay, but also there for Classic. You know, he, he was on this Toronto Ultra team last year. He's having a solid game at double positive, but he needs his teammates to step up. We'll see if they can start to pick it up. Fire, getting back towards even. As he's looking for a fight, Legion will get into the hard point first. They need a hold. They're down 50 now. You're at that brink where you get broken again. The game can get blown wide open. In the opposite side is going to be number four. That's going to be Kleenex. Teammate's going to spawn on big pinch opportunity here. You're going to have a four on two. You just have to win the gunfights. Just trying now to hunt down Aqua. Aqua, though, able to stay alive. But not for long. Cami then in. Nobody in the hard point for now. And it looks to be a... If not a break, at least a clearance from the point for Ultra for now. Yeah, for right now, still 25 seconds left. They're trying to hit up towards top green. You see, hitting brick control inside of that small door. We're able to take down fire, and I think with that kill, they're going to go. Nance flies on through. It's all down to scraps now. Just trying to stay alive, get that scrap time. Final 10. When they go to Toronto Ultra. They'll be up by 40 as we head back to our first point. Yep. Let's get into the second set of rotations now as Aqua is just taking bullets from... Seemingly everywhere. He, the man they got to try and shut down. The centering so tough in that position against the sub. Fire can't quite do it. In the 74 U's between Bantz and Kleenex on point right now. As they'll take down three of them. Bantz another. Just roaming the mid tanks. The swaps to the AR nearly brings another down with them. But they've held on to this 50-ish point advantage for a couple of hard points now. And... Well, I mean, if you're splitting time, splitting hard points, or just keeping Legion out of the hard point, you, you feel okay about your chances. Yeah, and, and that's really been it. Splitting time has kind of been the hard point game between these two teams. For Paris, in, in map one, it was finally when they, they got a, sol a solid hold. That, that was the difference maker. Well, Aqua going all the way around, and he has just won so many individual gunfights time and time again. He's trying to get rotation a second. He's read this really well. Didn't expect uh, Phoenix to be there already. His teammates well, were about to pinch the spawns. I think he did. I think he was literally about to hold that, and then he heard one to his yeah, left. He heard like one he just, right, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah well. it's just like that awkward timing. Raps now, what can he do? There's the peak. There's the kill. Fire involved in the action as well. Cami will get picked. That's that's great shots from fire. You get Cami. Out of a power position, Kleenex not able to recenter and snap onto the next is fire. I think it's three in that break into the point and still about half of the time remaining. So it's a key break. For once, they can maybe get rid of this 50 point advantage that Ultra has enjoyed for what seems so long. Kleenex, some unfortunate timing there with one on his left. Fire streak continues for now. He gets another. That's five in a row for fire at 17 and six. And he was one of the guys we highlighted in this. If anyone's struggling, Somebody like Scraps, maybe like last map, and here 12 and 16, not not locking down that like 1.2 KD he so often enjoys. Fires the guy that's got to do it. He's got to bring it, and right now he is. A couple more kills, and we'll be working on some streaks as well, but that he's going to get caught. Oh. Should be a, a huge hole. You're going to need this break if you're Parrish. You, you fight back here at that second hill. Now over to third, Toronto Ultra. They're going to get the spawns. They're going to get set up. Starting to fight back. They're making it. it, it it's scrappy. You, you see where Method spawned. That was due to the position of Classic, but him and Fire are both going to go down. And well, now at this position, it should get these final 30. <laughs> it's felt like there have been so many times where it's like, one more kill for Legion. One more. They get a break. Like one more, they get a break. And you know, part of that, I mean, is more on the positives for Ultra. Like the positioning from them, the teamwork, the comms, like the, that, that trade is there or that play is there. But... It's got to be three or four times where I just thought, you yeah, one more kill and you're in a good spot. 
That was another good example of how difficult it can be with an AR up close and personal against the movement and the gunfightability of a submachine as methods look like he stood no no shame yeah, no. in that gunfight. Scrap just like tied his shoes together, like yeah, went oh, under him, oh, yeah, yeah. gave him a backflip. But that's like a, what, like an NBA when somebody gets crossed over. Like, yeah, <laughs> just a little bit like that. Ankles broken. <laughs> Good thing for him is he had the one before, and they're up 80 points. So about to close this series out. Yeah, they're looking to close it out, get it done. I mean, even if it goes to a game five, you feel good about your chances in search, but you've had so many narrow losses in hard points. Just get this W. And Zoltro right now showing why a team that we thought had a lot of promise coming into a very, very stacked year. Competition's never been tougher, and God, I mean, they felt the wrath of that this week. I still got a good chunk of time now. That's this fourth hill. Aqua's on a spree. That's, That's going to be four down. dead. It's not a, the best time for that either. I swear Harry's to God, gonna if Ultra set up, lose another they're... close hard point. I swear to God. I swear to God. Joe, if they lose, 50. you've got to get a tattoo. Sex is temporary, but Legion is forever. All right, one million retweets. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> they get the hold now. They've got a yeah, chance well. to bring it back. Aqua. He's got like an 80% headshot ratio over the course of this <laughs> game, but there he'll just uh, do a bit of damage for his teammate. And I couldn't tell you the last time that Ultra got a kill. It's just been all oh, Legion. Lockdown, lockdown, lockdown. And can he get the next streak? Just a little bit away, I think, from getting the missile as well. It just needs one more kill. He's in a ping. Boy, he's calling that right away. Oh, oh that is unfortunate because you'd like to have another streak. And does it hit anything? It does not. Now his teammates are going to have to clutch up and go massive. And they're doing it. Scraps and fire. Able to win the gunfights. 80-point advantage now dwindling down to just 14 points. Is fire trying to get eyes from top bridge? The eyes, the gunny, it is there. Next hard point about to pop. And who's ready inside? It is going to be Legion. Now one going to spawn out for Ultra on the opposite side. That'll be Methods. They're going to have to deal with a bit of a split push now. Are they going to be up to the task? Because Methods has now gotten a pick. That's going to be heads turning. Heads turning, though, and guns hitting. Aqua and Scraps able to go big. Now a lead change. Not again. God, Ultra, what is happening? Legion now in front. Well, the good thing for them, Aqua blew his streak. So even if you give up this time, you can set up for second hill. The problem is, is, I mean, they just have, it just felt like forever since they've won a team fight, right? Like, it is all Paris Legion last two minutes and well they have to get them off this hill sorry they can win here they can yeah, win they here can. sorry yeah, i misspoke yeah, yeah, they can win yeah. here they can win it right here they can win it right here streak might not even matter a couple more seconds and they're good five in a row now for scraps final point is in and legion down what uh, 200 to 120 somewhere in that ballpark come roaring back and it's another Another hard point. Ah, we're ultra for whatever reason. Some cosmic explanation I need for why they cannot close out these games. They crumble. And Legion, man, they make the plays when it's needed. Fire was hit. Scraps went huge after a slow start. And you can see the despair and just frustration yeah. on the faces of the ultra players right now. I mean, that's just four, that's three hills in a row. I mean, that just simply cannot happen. Sometimes with four and five, you know, you can go back, you, you control a catwalk, you control the power positions, and that can happen. Uh, but, I, I mean, those breaks just, just at some point have to come through. You just saw it in the kill feed. It was like three kills for Paris, one for Toronto. Right, then everybody's spawning up for Toronto. They're trying to make a team push. Doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. And, well, Paris Legion, they get us to a map number five. A look at the scoreboard. I mean, it's pretty even. Why? Because the game was... I mean, it was just lopsided one way, and then the second half, it was lopsided the other way. Yeah. No, you're absolutely correct. But now, let's think about the map five. And uh, I believe we're going to Miami. You're 1-0 if you're Ultra. You're 0-1 if you're Legion. And that 1-0 for Ultra, was that the one... That wasn't the one versus phase, was it? Or was it? No, that was a different map. I'm trying to think of who that... Miami victory can begins, but I mean, regardless, uh, that that has been a, a go-to mode for Ultra. Can you take it in the map five? Um, 
you, you have to shake off the frustration because you saw it there. I mean, uh, it wasn't anger or rage. Or, it was just, yeah, frustration. It, it, it was more it, like, just, what the hell just happened? Like, yeah. what happened in the last three minutes? How did we it, just lose that? You, you held on I've to I've been what? there before. Like, it, 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 it was a it was a fifty point advantage for what felt like three four minutes. Then you push it out to eighty or so, and you just can't close it out. And you talk about the time you were up what three zero on H two K Joe. Why do you bring that up? I love you. Map five coming up after the break. Wonderful start here for Paris League. Paris League can just about push that player off the hard point. Just can they clutch up and go big? Classic just being aggressive in the plane. Fire's got to get on the bomb and he will. He finds the kill. Unbelievable stuff. Awkward from the back end, able to pick up three along the way. Paris Legions. What a round! my dear friends and viewers from across the planet we're back to super week we're going into a map five between legion and ultra it is about to be an absolute battle i cannot wait I mean, joe i hope so because we're look here uh, the, the second one wasn't <laughs> no it was not. map two was not a battle no, it was more just no. like a, i don't even know what that was uh, uh, just lay down and die yeah kind of like ultra the last three hills of that last map yeah Let's take a look at the quick scope now, and uh, I think you'll see why we were talking about the control being so huge for Ultra. Because uh, they've been lights out in search. Like, y you win a respawn, you're getting to a game five, you're feeling good. They are 4-0 and in search and destroy. 1-4 and for Legion. Like, I mean, their stats from respawn to search between these two teams are basically complete opposites. So, you got it to the map five. Um... It's how we felt about a team like maybe Rocker until I watched them get so thoroughly thrashed by NYSL that I wanted to vomit. Uh, okay, yeah, but I'm like, not sure. We, we talk about this a lot. It is very, very hard to continue that I know, and I know. destroy. I know, I know. Um, they, got, they got destroyed. I thought I did. Seam is uh, a next level god up above us, looking down. We'll on talk us. about that next game. Yeah, yeah you're right. You're right. <laughs> but Legion Ultra now for the map fives. Undefeated in Search for Ultra. One in three if you are Legion. Uh, they both played this map once. We're going to Miami. 
won it once if you're Ultra, you've lost it once if you are Legion. Everything in the world, looking good for Ultra. You gotta feel great about this, but, I mean, if there's one thing that's kind of negative, uh, you have to shake off that bat four and how you lost it. I mean, that is one, the series should be over. You should be celebrating, going downtown Toronto and doing God knows what you do in Canada. I have no, uh, go ice skating Nothing. or something. Uh, I, I'm not, I'm not really sure. What's the, what's the temperature there right now? It's probably quite, quite cold. I'm guessing, I'm guessing five degrees. What? It's like here or Toronto? No, Canada. Well, Toronto's pretty, well, Toronto's pretty close to me. It's, it's like 45 here today. It's warming up. Oh, I wasn't close at all. Uh, no. All right, so I think we're having a bit of a lobby restart for this map five. Obviously, we want to make sure server side, everything is good. Have nice and fair competition for this fifth and final map before we get to our last match of the day. Apologies, but we have to have a quick break before we get rolling in the search and destroy. I know we can't wait to get there. It's been a thrilling series thus far. Map five, we'll be right back. We are back, players uh, getting ready, getting back into the lobby before we hop into the map five. Before we get there, I do want to take a look at uh, some of the stats from Ultra from the game two, uh, just in case you're joining the series late and maybe didn't see what a thrashing it was because uh, it had everything. It had rounds that took about 10 seconds. It had a 1v4 from Methods, an incredible 1v4 and the first 1v4 of the season. I think our fourth 6-0 S&D victory on the year as well. But yeah, when everyone on your team is between a 1-5 and a 3-5, Katie, and Search and Destroy, I don't think it is technically possible to lose. Yeah, I think you're like maybe like eyeballing this. There's not a ton of kills, so you're like, huh, it's been pretty close. No, it wasn't. Zero, it was really fast. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, I guess that's a good thing uh, for Toronto Ultra. I mean, they've already had to bounce back uh, after that map one. And in effect. Well, let's look at the Astro Social soundboards, the people popping off, sounding off uh, Methods play. You see Chance, our co-commentator in there, Optic Formal and TJ chatting about it. TJ coming off uh, one of the more impressive S&D performances we've seen uh, with his 12-0 and 0 he had the other day, but just chatting through uh, an incredible play. I mean, 1v4s or... Uh, they don't happen all that often. Do they happen more often than like a 1v5? I mean, what, Looney had, I think, the only 1v5? I have no idea. Or like the first? Or the, I think he might have had the only 1v5, if I remember I, correctly. I just love that tweet because they're just talking about how Methods is going to bring that up a uh, few times when they're like hanging out. Because, oh, yeah. Like it's 20 years sure from now when they're all sure living together just, and doing God knows what. Guys, remember that time I 1v4 on Moscow? Yeah, it's, he's probably got that, and then like he probably just talks about like the Arden Forest Wall. I like. Thing. Yeah, no, he he like they basically were Siamese twins. He was like connected to that thing. He did not move from it very often. Uh, but methods getting ramped up, amped up for this final map, and 
Yeah, you got to feel good for a lot of reasons. Uh, undefeated in it, uh, how the map two went, and then also, I mean, then he's got to be feeling hot considering that 1v4, that's something that gets the blood pumping, but the fist pumps are out. The boy's getting ready to go. And on the side of Legion, yeah, you played it once, you lost it. Maybe there are some takeaways you could learn from that, but I guess if you if they're going to beat a very good search and destroy team like Ultra on this, what's maybe the biggest key to victory just for this map? Oh, I mean, we've seen a lot of different takes on Miami, which... I it's kind of why I like to, to watch it because you can do a lot of different things round to round. You can play really aggressive, right, fight over top piano, fly through parking, you can take it slow, move up the bomb beach side, just try to work this knee plant. You mean it's a For map me, that's not designed like a hallway, so you have options. Correct. So, um, you. For me, for Paris, I mean, you're looking at Aqua to maybe win some of these long range fights at A with the AR. But I, I'm, ta I'm talking about, like, B control. I mean, that's, to me, where Classic and Scraps can just sort of... If they can take down sort of that duo and Kleenex and, and Cami inside, uh, with Bans carrying the bomb, maybe uh, it gets interesting for them. The opening push over towards B, and, well, that's a sub against, I believe, the AR of Scraps in the back. But enough damage done that Scraps has to back out for now. Hub the Krig in hand just... See if he can get eyes on. A flank's coming through, though. Look at number yeah. six on the map. Classic. Did he find an opening? He's going to be the point man. He's going to take a lot of these opening gunfights, and he's just creeping on up. And you just, no one can die. No one can die from Legion before he gets there. He's got to be the first to engage, and he is off a bomb. He picks Bants. That'll be bombed down right on the site. Traps now has the angle. Everything opening up. Scraps hits the shots yet again. Methods last up. They slide out. They double challenge. Scraps gets three in the round. But, yeah, you kind of said what happened with the timing there for Classic to get in that position. Uh, I mean, everybody in Toronto is just sort of clearing out all the angles of B. But it's about Scraps just staying alive back. Yeah, all, all that is is an info play. They're taking a risk. They're, all they're saying is, is they're probably going to go B this first round. If they go A, at least we'll be here. We'll have a couple of players here where maybe we can trade effectively. But Classy's just saying, I'm going to hit this timing quick because they have to clear everything else out towards B side. They have to clear parking. They have to clear top piano. That's going to take them some time. And that's when I'm going to find that timing. It does. Because a few seconds later, when they get to B and they don't find anything in the, the usual places, they turn around. They're like, all right, somebody check the flank. But because he goes that fast, the timing works out. Well, it's a fast hit from Legion now. Scraps, his ankles are getting just churned up. Uh, bullets from Dot Purple, but Aqua with his 47th, 100,000th headshot of this series. Able to pick off one more. Classic, instantly to get the bomb down. Bans just still looking for eyes, so at least be able to take out Classic. So you put it into a three versus three, but advantage now. The Legion is you get that bomb planted. Methods POV is he's trying to get involved in the action. Unfortunately, one of his teammates drops his fire, able to hit the shot. Scraps are going to get maybe some lovely timing here behind Vance. Hello, kind sir. It is me, Scraps. Oh, well, that's not going to work. Trophy there. Just peek, peek, peek till Aqua can kind of help. And there's another round of Legion. So far, so good. Yeah, you remember how I said they should just, like, take over lobby control? Well, they've just avoided it completely. Not only has it confused myself, I think it's also confused Toronto because what does Toronto do? They don't play a back alley setup. They actually play a, a double top balcony, and they get the bomb down, and there's just three players parking. They just set up, and then they're waiting for it. They're like, is anything going to happen? And Scraps is like, all right, I'm going to go on a little flank. I'm going to go back through lobby. I'm going to come behind him up top, and we're going to win the round. And win the round they do. Huh? Four and one from Scrap so far. Obviously, like the rest of his teammates, uh, not much to write home about from the game Look at two, this again. But... Look at this timing again, bro. They risk it again. You Dude. gotta be kidding me. But Classic just goes, man. He's going until he gets a fight. And there's another first blood for Legion. Is they'll get numbers advantage. And you can see how deep... Aqua is currently playing. Where is he? Okay, he's all the way. He's building that sandcastle. Yeah. All right. Well, the sandcastle is built and the shots are hitting. Kleenex is going to drop. Four versus two now for Legion. Vance, can he finish with an aid? Nope, because there is a kind trophy there to keep Aqua alive in the back. 
Nice spot there from Bance, but he gets some information. Unfortunately, he can't get a kill. What you need right now are kills. Now Aqua pops back up. Cammy left alone on an island. Even if Miami's not an island. 3-0, Legion. Th this is exactly what I'm talking about. Sometimes you can be the best search and destroy team in the world. You can have a game plan. The other team is calling something, and it just perfectly counters you. That is two defensive rounds in a row where they say, all right, let's go 3A, classic flank right away. They switch it up. They said, all right, this time, let's go. They're probably going to go A now. They go right through B. They get the first blood. It's just two different sides to it. The one side, it was Scraps playing info back B. The other side, it was Aqua playing info back A. And it, I mean, what are they supposed to do? Like, there's just those timings. There's nothing Toronto Ultra could do. I mean, you, you play a little bit slower maybe next offense to try and, and wait for a pick. But I doubt that Paris risked that again. Now, remember the pressure that's on this map five right now. Both of these teams are one and two. A loss here, and you're at risk of being in the bottom two and starting in the loser's bracket of our first major. A win, you're sitting pretty comfortably in a good spot. A much needed first blood now for Ultra. Vance playing by the boat. Snap a doodle doo. Second gonna drop. Fire last alive. And this looks to be a much needed round victory. But can fire, catch fire here and pull off a, a methods. Yeah, big thing though is just time. I mean, he's got 30 seconds left. He's gotta get the bomb. He's gotta get oh, one the bomb sites. Vance cuts that down. And, and yeah, I think the other big thing too is sort of the. The tiebreaker, right? Because if you're Paris, what does Paris have left? They had to play Atlanta Phase on Saturday. They were in Atlanta Phase. Toronto, they play LA Gorillas. So the winner of this probably has the tiebreaker because you, you would think they're both going to finish at two and three, in which one of those teams would get top three, depending yeah. on, you know, other, other matches that happened. Yep. It's, it's, it's absolutely huge. At Ultra? Behind, uh, what, three kills from Vance and a lovely play there. And outskirts. <laughs> just go it's ultra again. the, the They're round. Just going. And... They're just going to A this time. Dude, this is, this is hilarious for Legion. They 3B, 3A, 3 back to A. And now they're ready for this because they sent so many players here. And guess who? Classic is going to sneak behind another play. Oh, I thought he was. Uh, oh, not Vance. Not, not Vance. I don't know what happened. Hey, Spider-Man. He's got senses I, all over his body. I don't know body. if he was just like, hey, turn around and saw him. But I thought Classic was going to get a freebie. It's what and looked they, like. And now they just back up. Like... So, well, they get out of, uh, it looked like it was going to be a lot worse for Ultra. But, yeah, you get yeah. out of this with a three versus three. Now, as, if you can get a quick hit towards B, you have a two on one there for a second until Scraps begins the rotation. And he's kind of slowly doing that. You see him mid-map. Just trying to hold, but get ready to help fire as soon as needed. You've got just over 20 seconds on the clock, and you got to work this plant. And fire just shouldering for information. Oh, he's bad timing. He gets the information now, but not before the plant's going to get down. So the rotation from Scraps is going to be in a second late, and he can't. Fire's got the worst timing ever twice. Well, he doesn't he's, see he's the first on the cross. Kill. He doesn't see him uh, or can't catch him, then on the slide across the second time. But yes, uh, the teammates getting a kill certainly helps balance the equation. With the time, though, no, they, they have to go fast. 25 seconds left. Aqua's going nice to spot shots. Vance. They're going to know where Methods is now. Just process of elimination. They're yeah, all going to fly. Oh, yep. Yeah. Methods, you had a 1v4, but not this time. Aqua and the squad, they send it. And no rally for Ultra. They can't go back to back. Legion get the retake. Legion go up 4-1. to one. And this crucial map five. And I mean, Paris Legion defense, they're sending three to one site very quickly. Worst case scenario, they run into the team, you know, that, that's pushing the site like we just saw and they trade. Best case scenario, they're working the flank right away and they don't expect yeah, Well, it. I mean, it feels like they're giving Ultra a taste of their own medicine at times because... Sometimes we watch Ultra. I mean, that's what they do, right? They, they like to fly. They like to hit stuff. They like to play with some tempo and some pace and search and catch people off guard. But Legion are doing that more effectively. And Aqua, by the way, he is 7-1 and one right now. And what do we what do we talk about? Scraps and Aqua coming into this? And I know they've had some ugly maps, but not right now. They are combined for 13-3. and three.
Here we go again. And you're kind of getting this similar push here from Alter. The problem is his Bans is so slow on the flank. Look at him. It's going to take him forever to get to this B site. He's got to go quick. How dare you teammates... doubt the athletic ability of Benjamin Bans? I'm just going to say, I'm just saying it's taking him a while. So they're, they're going to have to hold three versus four. And they do that. They get the first blood. And he's still going the long route. Oh, yeah. He's going to be there. Just uh, the round might be over, but he's going to be there. I'll be there. I mean, yeah, at this point, they don't think you're standing on the flank. It's taking no. so long. They're like, they're all here. Well, or they might just finally look at the flank and he dies. Okay. Oh, Bans is still up. Bans is still okay, up. He's good. And he's going to catch it. There you go. There's no way you really were still thinking timing. flank. There's no way you were still thinking flank. But yeah, that's all on the three other members of Ultra there on the site. They're able to trade effectively and efficiently against Legion. Then Bans late gets involved in the action. A huge and desperately needed round there for Ultra. Hey, and now we'll see what are they going to do differently on offense because that's where they've been losing. Uh, that's the difference in, in this map. The big, you know, big defense there keeps it 4-2. to two, Keeps them alive in this game. This is where it gets interesting. And on the Paris side, do they, do they just send it to one site again? Oh, let's look at the main map. It looks it's like that uh, be, might be, be the case. Be, yeah. They're sending it. Three fast towards B, and guess what? That's where Ultra's going. It's about to be a massacre. Who comes out on top? Grabs of the first. The trade there for Bans. One down for either side. He's able to get out of harm's way for now. So a little damage dealt to either team. Nice spot. Nice shot. Emmy hits. Advantage Ultra. And now they should instantly know, though, that that's the off-site, man. They can rotate the bomb. And that's what they're going to do. Yeah, the way they've played this is a 3-1. One. one player just playing for info, the other three hitting that site. You know Scraps is there. The, the big question for them is where's Fire? Uh, but he's still back alley. They know the A-site's open. Take their time. They're checking their angles. Now can Method stay alive while his teammates plant the bomb? Yeah, or can he get in position to catch one of the cross? Like he's trying to back up and see if... Well, the more I get a kill or delay this, right? Like, he, yeah, just he delays down. their transition at all. They're not going to have much time to work with. And the more focus they have to put into methods, the round's going to be over. By the time Scraps gets this kill, he's going to have no time to rally back. Like, look at the time this is milking off the clock. Methods just back there, just inspecting uh, whatever sort of vehicle that is. He will end up dropping. But now Scraps is last alive. Uh, he's going to have time to get the kills and get the defuse. Like, that's just great position there for Methods. It's a good play call from Toronto. I, I mean, it could get a little scary if, if Scraps gets both of those kills uh, top, up top, but they have the man advantage. Big gunfight win from Cami Comes in on Aqua watching the flank, and they just, you have to know, the way their setups have been, that's the offside guy. We can rotate it. They do that, and they get an offensive win on the board. Great call, Joe. Yep, they did exactly uh, as you thought they would. Smart play from them. Now within a round. Legion, 4-3. Back to offense. You're going to have a three-man defensive presence from Ultra over towards B, but this looks like an A hit, so methods. And that trusty AR has set up very, very deep. Can he hit the shots with the Krig? Can he get the information and stay up? And, I mean, his teammates are getting information, too. Look how far pushed up Ultra is getting already. They've already pushed all the way through B. And number eight, you kind of see in fire. He's the one sort of watching that presence coming across mid-map towards him. I think he's going to need to get a pick or at the very least stay up. Yeah, he, he's just got He kind of knows that there's something weird going on. They don't really see much. So it's kind of on him. Mom's going to get planted. Nancy's is trying to get him off of it. But not able to hit the shots with fire. He's not ready for the flank. I think he wanted it to take care of Bans. But on the bomb side, classic. He gets a kill. Scraps on the flank. He's trying to run away. Get a mojito. He's going to play his life. They're getting it done. Methods. He's been there all around long. And Methods will drop. Legion get the win. And one more round. They've got this series in the bag, despite the 
brutal loss in the game two search and destroy. And yeah, when fire dropped, you're thinking this doesn't look good. But the fact that what classic gets the plant down, and usually, you know, when you get a plant in a lot of situations, like, can I stay alive and yeah, get well, out of Vance this? Yeah, well, Vance would love he to have an kill. AR, right? Vance would love yeah. to have an AR. Yeah. He, he actually gets him off with a bomb. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Aqua wins one middle of the map, and I think Scraps wins one without a trade. He's able to back all the way up to T or to the bar, and that's that's it. Well, here we go again. Right into Here's purple. Here's the change up too. No aggression on the defensive side. It's actually three towards B. More of a, a standard setup here out of Paris. Really, it's be Scraps kind of tucked away on the bomb with his two teammates looking over him. Slowly but surely, they start to work up, but you can't get caught just trying to peek for info. And we saw that happen to Bance against Optic a couple times as well. That'll be Man Advantage Legion, a chance to close it out here and be back to back series victories. Can me gets the shots in, can't quite finish it. Scraps, so he's under the steps, goes hiding. And they're on fire. Fire gets two. Scraps gets a kill. Six, three. Win the Legion in the first search and destroy loss on the year for Ultra. But man, all you're going to be thinking about is that map four. Map one, map four, pick it. Frustration coming out for Toronto as it should. Yeah, hard point woe is to continue to just, just bring them down. Uh, you know, it's, it's frustrating to watch, but on the side of Paris now, you're pumped up. That's two big wins in a row, one over Toronto, one over Florida. And th that was sort of the question with Atlanta in Optic, who's going to be the third team? Is it going to be Toronto or Florida? You know, everyone else kind of wrote off the Gorillas in Paris, and Paris says, no, 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 we're going to take care of business. They win two, two big matches, and now there's a chance they get top three, and maybe that winner's bracket. And yeah, and they were like that, you know, last team formed leftovers type deal, underdogs, however you want to word it. Like, no one knew what the roster was going to be for a while. It looked like for so long that Scraps wasn't going to be on a team, which I know blew a lot of people's minds considering his playmaking ability and now, you know, how good he's been since he kind of came up through the league. Um, but this team comes together and... It wasn't the prettiest series at times. Uh, maps two and three, they got smoked. There are definitely some things you have to work on, but you know what matters at the end of the day, Joe? The goddamn the W. Yeah. And winning the game, here's a look at the stats. Who is it? Scraps knock on what we talked about. Uh, but, you know, I, I give props to Fire in that game five. He, he stayed alive at, at big times. And wow, I mean, Classic only has four. You know, I think the psyche sort of like. Uh, of Toronto Ultra. Two of those skills were him just running through their flank. Right? So even on that last offensive round, they're thinking, well, right? They go into that more standard setup and they have to execute a little bit quicker. They're worried about their flank. It's constantly in the back of their mind. That's just a, a nice transition from Paris in that last round. Oh, uh, absolutely. And now we're going to take a look at our scuff play of the game. It's going to be that final round and how it broke down and concluded for Paris as they are able to get the victory. But that's the key one there. Like, Banch just gets caught. You know, he's trying to shoulder for information. But I think you, later in the round, you see it a similar thing from the same POV right here. Like, Cami holding it, looking for Classic. Yeah, Classic, classic takes die. some damage, and he gets out. Exactly. Like, he's able to take some shots, get away with his life. Banch just gets dropped there and puts, uh, puts him in a tough spot early. And then and they have 30 seconds, and... Boom, everybody comes out, right? Scraps is able to come out from under those stairs. You have the player back alley who's hitting some nice shots and just weren't ready for that setup. But yeah, it's all about that first blood. Yeah, Scraps is doing like his best uh, Harry Potter impersonation. Hey, he didn't that's challenge that time, right? He learned. That's true. That is true. Something to learn from that, but we have a lot more coming. A big match, a rivalry match. Clay versus the old squad, NYSL versus Empire. I can't wait. Coming up after the break.
The Call of Duty League is presented by T-Mobile, now America's largest and fastest 5G network. Set your sights on the competition with T-Mobile, the leader in 5G. Wonderful start here for Paris League. Paris Legion just about pushed that player off the hard point. Just can they clutch up and go big? Classic just being aggressive in the plane. Fire's got to get on the bomb and he will. He finds the kill. Unbelievable stuff. Awkward from the back end, able to pick up three along the way. Paris Legions, what a round. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Call of Duty League. It's day five, a super week, and this commentator picked Paris to take it in game five, baby. We're back in it with the Pickums. Now that I've got that out of my life, Jay, what a series, bro. That was a wild one. Yeah, man, from start to finish, it was insane, man. But if you're Toronto Ultra, this is gonna eat you alive for a really long time, Oof. man. They had that 200 point mark on that map four, all they needed was one team push, one successful team push for three different hills, and they just couldn't do it. They forced it to a map five, and Paris Legion just clutch up, man. Ah, it sucks if you're Toronto. <laughs> man, it was brutal. And also, I mean, going into that game five as well, like we saw how dominant Moscow was. We thought, well, Miami surely is going to be another yep. big victory there in search. And there were signs, there were a couple of moments there, but like big individual plays, like a couple of tiny mistakes to go in the way of Toronto, and like. It was just a different series, but Jay, that was that was something special. I mean, this is the upward turn that we're seeing out of Paris Legion. For me, we keep thinking back to Paris from last year. We're not necessarily looking at the new squad Paris. They're like that is starting to turn heads. That is starting to take like big series now off of teams who yeah. we expect them to be crushed by. Do you think they get any better from here on out? I mean, where are the sort of weaknesses for you in this team? Oh, when I'm talking about this team, it's just when it comes to those hard points. They were clutching up in both of them throughout this entire series, but it's just not as strong. Toronto had the opportunity to close out both maps. They just didn't close out in the final moment. So if you're going to be Paris Legion, you got to focus on that game mode. You're searching to destroy. Obviously, on the second map, you guys did no chance. But that last map, you played really well. Blind counters on basically every single play. Classic was getting the greatest Call of Duty timing <laughs> of all time. Every time he was trying to shoot methods in the back. So... So far, their S&D is starting to click for them, but for me, still for this team, it's going to be those hard points. If they can get stronger in that game mode, then they could be a phenomenal team for, throughout the rest of the year. Yeah, Control's another one. I think uh, their stat right now in Control is not ideal. Um, I think it's 0-4. I forget. I mean, it was. I'm, oh. all I can think of right now is the Pickhams. Like, I'm very, very happy yeah. about that one. But uh, yeah, see <laughs> you again. Sad. Paris. <laughs> Paris are on the roll. Uh, but yeah, very, very exciting series so far. We still have one series left throughout today, and that is going to be a... Banger, Dallas Empire versus the New York Subliners, NYSL coming up after this one. Uh, but, I mean, Jay, we talk about the David and Goliath matchup. Like, today was yes. guaranteed to be non-stop action. It was great fun, aside from 3-1 earlier today. We look at the Group B standings. FaZe still sitting at the top 4-0 there. But, dude, I mean, Ultra, that could be 1-1. That could be one, one, uh, sorry, 2-2 two, two, two right now, as opposed to a 1-3 yeah. for them. Like, that is a huge victory for Legion in the standings. Yeah, man, it is, man. And if you're the Legion... You're just completely changing the narrative from the team last year. We, we were giving them a lot of stuff for dropping their entire roster and bringing in all new players. We did not know what to expect, but so far these guys are meshing really well, man. Aqua's playing some of the best Call of Duty he's played in a really long time. Fire is really stepping up to the plate and just playing really consistent. But Matty Marshall, Mr. Scraps, really stepping up when his team needs him to the most. Even though in some of those game modes, he wasn't really performing. But in that control, he was fighting. In those hard points, he was making plays with that XM4, just changing the game for his team. So I'm just excited to see how they can progress throughout the rest of the year. Well, we'll see. I'm glad you brought up Matty Marshall. I will be talking to Scraps after this in our Game Fuel victory moment. But before that... Got to tease the Empire versus NYSL, the revenge matchup now for Clay. The very first time these teams faced each other in this new look here of the 2021 season, it was the kickoff classic. A lot of drama had unfolded for the subliners. It was not the squad they wanted. Barely practiced, and they were thrown into the lion's den. Empire now, though, may be a little shaky after their performance versus London. Maybe a, a weakened state that the great subliners could possibly catch an upset on. Very, very exciting matchup. That's coming up later today. Boy, howdy, do we have a fun day of COD ahead of us every day this week. Super week. I wish we could do it quite literally every week. But Matty Marshall waiting in the wings. I will be chatting with him just after this one. Jay, a pleasure as always. Legion, a huge upset there over Ultra 3-2. That was a great one. But yeah, 
There we go, mate. Plenty of cards still to come. Interview with Jermaine Marshall. Very, very excited to get to all of that after this break. Wonderful start here for Paris League. Paris League can just about push that player off the hard point. Just can they clutch up and go big? Classic just being aggressive in the plane. Fire's got to get on the bomb and he will. He finds the kill. Unbelievable stuff. Awkward from the back end, able to pick up three along the way. Paris Legions, what a round! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Call of Duty League. I will be talking to Scraps now in our Game Fuel Victory Spotlight. Hey, can't seem to get rid of you. It's just you and me all day these days. But firstly, congratulations. <laughs> Unreal performance, man. Unreal. Appreciate the squad it, to bounce back after what was a tough, tough series. The 1v4, it could have fallen apart a few times. The start wasn't great, but you managed to keep it together. <laughs> firstly, congrats, mate. Well done. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yeah, I mean, what was it like in those games? Like, obviously, the mental game there is really strong. I mean, how's the squad, you know, how do you recover after getting one I before mean, like that? Map one obviously went great, and then map two started, and I'll be honest with you, man, from there on out, it was just a full-on collapse. I don't know what happened. Map two and three, we, yeah, we just, we just had a full-on breakdown, and they capitalised and, you know, smoked us on both of those maps. So I'm really proud of the squad for bouncing back in map four and five and, you know, showing what we're capable of in, in the last two maps. You get a lot of love individually for the plays on, on control. I mean, was that the case? Obviously, nah, it's a man. team effort, but like, yeah, what's going on there? Um, that is probably one of our better maps. I mean, the, the way they play it is, is very, it catches you off guard and, you know, to, to get going. But the way they, with the way they play, it's, it's hard. So props to them. And, you know, we, we, we were just sloppy, man. Yeah, and I wasn't making them plays and I wasn't benefiting in, in us whatsoever. So. You know, I'll go back and watch that and see what I could have done better and where I could have helped the team out more. And yeah, no doubt we'll bounce back on that map. Mate, you're doing a really good job. I mean, as I say, you and the boys are currently helping transform the entire look of Paris Legion. You've gone from a squad last year, a team that wasn't necessarily in, in any kind of contention. Now, all of a sudden, Paris is in everyone's mouths. Anything quickly you want to say to the fans? Um, shout out to the people that stopped by us and, you know, people. everyone was writing us off at the start of the year, which is fairly understandable. You know, this is... This is a squad that, that got put together last minute and nobody looked at as if as if to say, you know, these are going to be anybody, they're going to be bottom 12. But, you know, shout out to everyone that stuck by us. We're going to keep working hard every single day and, you know, focusing on improving. And yeah, shout out to everyone showing the back at home. Legendary status, mate. Well done, GG's again. That is our victory spotlight here. Our game to your victory spotlight. Scraps, thank you very much for coming back on. And I will wish you the best of luck throughout there. Super Week. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Here we go, though, friends. This is it. Last match of the day coming up now. Our big old revenge matchup. Clay going up against his former teammates. We've got NYSL versus the Dallas Empire. Don't go anywhere, friends. It is all about to kick off here on the COD League.
Hello and welcome back. It is time for our Game Fuel Marquee Match Dallas Empire NYSL. Clay, Krim, Clay versus the old squad. They played at the kickoff weekend, but Joe, tell me why it's a little bit different now. Well, what? I mean, New York are an established team now, right? Yeah, I mean, right before that kickoff game, they lost Zuma. They had to bring in Diamond Con. It was just like, it was basically a pickup team. Since that point, but a month has gone by, they are established, they are rolling. New York subliners are, uh, I mean, they are just on fire right now. Well, it was a Seams revenge tour the last time around when you talked about his match versus Rocker. He is going to be our Game Fuel featured player. Uh, and uh, why? Because he's been insane. The guy has been absolutely ludicrous, regardless of the mode. Shredding, frying, dicing, just doing it all. The guy has been a beast. I mean, the whole team has been on another level, but Asim has been on one, man. Well, and it's just not what we expect from him. I mean, Asim is a great pickup for a Call of Duty team, but what do we really know him, know him as? It's like the selfless entry guy, the guy who goes first, a lot of engagements on the map, and that just hasn't been him. Uh, it's been him leading and slaying, being what, he's 22 and well, two in the last two Search and Destroy maps. He's been like, an incredible player uh, in terms of like stats. And, I mean, just look at this stuff. Well, and that's that's like uh, we've heard us talk about it, whether on the Hard Points podcast or, you know, here live on the broadcast. And we talk about those entry guys, uh, you know, whether it's like a BZ or a TJ or you play that role, uh, you you need a fast, aggressive player. And that's why someone like Asim is so valuable. And I think many were shocked when he 